okay guys so this time we got this beam uh, which is you can say a single overhanging beam okay at the left hand side it is just overhanged that means it is one time overhang so we call this single overhang beam okay there we got udl which is actually 200 kg per meter the span is 4 meter and a point load at the end as you can see this is actually point a and it is 600 kg now we are asked to determine reaction this one which is reaction b and reaction c and actually um, uh, before starting the solution or calculation i'm going to just simplify this diagram a little bit okay and i'm going to say let's say if this is again the beam okay and here we have reaction there we have another reaction and i'm going to call this r1 reaction one and let's say this is reaction two this is actually at point p this is at point c and at point a we have point load which is 600 kg now at mid span there we got 200 kg but that is per meter now we have to convert this guy into a point load is this one so remember this udl is all over the span so i'm going to say there is a point load which is actually this udl i'm converting that and that is actually 200 uh, kg but that is per meter the distance is 4 meter so i'm going to multiply that with 4 that means we got a point load and remember udl we considered it at midpoint okay the distance is 4 that means it is just 2 meters away from this support and 2 meter away from this support so simple this is actually our diagram or you can say uh, 4 2s are that is 8 so we have a point load which is 800 kg now we have to determine the reactions of this beam okay remember my annotation that is the same okay i'll take clockwise moment okay and anti-clockwise moment the same i mean they are equal the summation of these guys okay okay uh, the clockwise moment equals the anti-clockwise moment because uh, those are equilibrium equations and this is actually a determinate structure okay we have uh, two unknowns and the equilibrium equations are three that means we can determine these guys from the equilibrium equation or with the help of equilibrium equations that's why we call this beam is a determinate beam okay now my annotation which is actually upward that is positive downward is going to be negative okay don't challenge this this can be different in your books does not matter now in error if i say this is in equilibrium i would say the summation of forces in vertical direction must be zero the summation of forces in horizontal direction must be zero the summation of moment at one point must be zero okay now in order to determine the reaction that is r1 and r2 i would say that the uh, summation of counterclockwise moment equals the summation of uh, clockwise moment okay and here actually we got different situations okay as you can see r1 now let's just try that okay if i need to determine r1 let's say to determine or to find r1 a reaction one i'll just take moment moment at point c or you can say at r2 okay so at point c remember this is actually two meter okay all right now we have taken moment at point c remember this force which is a point load that is downward okay and this is actually i'm going to say it is just you can say count counterclockwise okay this is counterclockwise r1 which is actually upward and it is positive and that is actually toward r2 and that is actually you can say clockwise remember this point load that is also counterclockwise because it is downward and toward r2 or point c okay so we got two forces or you can say two of these point loads is uh, counter clock one is only clock 
you can see this is r1 and it is clockwise okay now let's just determine this guy okay so i'm going to use this guy so we can see it better now r1 we have taken moment at c point so r1 remember moment is actually the force times distance r1 is force the perpendicular distance till point c that is actually two meter and two meter that is four okay so this is actually clockwise you can see remember clockwise is taken uh, or you can say equal to counterclockwise okay so i'm going to say counterclockwise in this line okay no problem this is 600 okay times the distance till r2 r point c that is actually 2 meter, 2 meter, and 2 meter, that is 6 meter. Okay. Plus, we have a point load over here that is actually 800 times the distance till R2, R point C, that is actually 2 meter. So, times 2. You can see it. Now, let's just simplify this. This is actually 4 R1, 6, 6 R, this is actually 3600 plus a 2 z that is actually 1600 okay so simple let's simplify it more okay for r1 this guy and this is this is actually uh 5200 now divide both sides by r because we don't need for r1 we only need r1 okay so these guys actually cross each other if you see this one cross with this one so we have only r1 and that is actually r1 now divide february 200 by 4 and that must be actually if i do some calculation that is going to be 1300 kg so simple okay nothing complicated here so simple so we got r1 which is actually 1300 kg okay so this support actually um receive 1300 kg from the above loads now let's calculate r2 okay this guy r2 now remember 1300 is already taken by r1 that means the remaining is going to be supported by r2 okay so it is more simple than r1 okay i would say r2 that is actually the total load i will say t load that is actually total load okay now r2 it is r1 that is already supported okay i would say r1 that is already supported so r2 is actually the total load the total load is actually 600 and 800 okay so 600 plus 800 we will subtract r1 because that has already been supported and that is 1300 okay just uh, ignore that okay so r1 that is actually now uh, 8 and this one this is actually 1400 minus 1300 that is now r1 which is actually 100 kg so we got r2 okay i i, I just pronounce r1 that is actually r2 okay never mind it i'm really sorry that is actually r2 and which is 100 kg so this, this is this is how we determine the reactions of a single overhang beam. See you in the next video.